Is this like broke girl maintenance? A conversation? A chat? I'm really wanting to avoid deep diving into my villain era. I feel like it's fine to have a villain era. I honestly feel like a lot of people like have their own version of like their villain era. To me, a villain era is like getting to a point in your life where you wanna like change up things. Like you've reached a certain perspective in life where you just like want better for yourself and in order to do that you really have to put like words to actions and i've been really wanting to do that i've been wanting to do that for a while but i've really just been too afraid to really do anything say anything change anything for real for real but like you know you either get tired of complaining about it and just accept it or you actually do something about it now my villain era the whole reason like i'm trying to avoid my villain era is because i feel like it's an overcorrection. i want to physically display the respect i have for myself rather than just being a doormat being a people pleaser things i do things i actively like allow in my life i don't want to allow certain behaviors anymore i don't want to allow certain attitudes around me like i don't want to i want to be solid within myself so much so that i'm not being i don't know taken advantage of not being taken seriously not being like not being valued at my actual value i feel like lately i've been really not overcompensating i've been overcompensating with my humbleness i've been too humble i've been too nice and I know that sounds like kind of odd. Like if you really don't know me, that's kind of weird. But like, let me let me break it down for you, okay? I've been taught to be humble. I've been told to like stay humble more than I've been told to love myself type B. And I think objectively, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with like keeping a, an element of humbleness about you. It's very healthy to have some humbleness, but like to the extent where I was trying to be humble, like it's hard to explain, bro. Cause like I really, to really get into it, I really gotta explain like the pretty privilege. And people don't like talking about it. Cause if you talk about it, it comes off self-centered. It comes off like, you know everything thing like you think you you the sh and it like defeats the purpose of like actually getting into like what it's about like if you're gonna immediately invalidate me by trying to like make it more about what i'm saying like oh she thinks she's pretty like okay and what if i am the least i could do is be honest about it damn but i really want to get into that like acknowledging and accepting the level of pretty privilege i have like and i don't necessarily always use that to my advantage i don't know what why i'm like this but i've really tried to be like low-key with it like i'm not really one to like show off my body like that even though i i know what i look like i know what i look like and that's a fair thing to like recognize like big people know they're big tall people know they're tall short people know they're short okay pretty people they don't always know they're pretty that's the thing it's not always a given for me I felt fairly average, but the way people treat me is what really like, is what really gave it away, honestly. Like, I get treated different. And not in like a bad way, but almost as like a, not a real person way. And I don't, I've come to the point in my life where I'm not holding the vision of like what I could be perceived as over what I know what is going on. Like, I know people don't like really look at me as a person. Like I'm damn near a Barbie doll to some folks. Okay, I get paraded around like a damn action figure sometimes. And that really made me realize like, do people even like me for real? Like, do they just wanna hang out with me because I'm pretty? Do people just wanna talk to me because I'm pretty? But like, yeah, lately I've just been feeling like my worth has been as much as I've been letting people get away with how much I'm worth, you know? And I'm a very solid person. Like I like myself, like genuinely my personality I like my sense of humor. I like I like everything about me honest. There's no shame in my game. I like myself. I like spending time with myself. The energy I get from myself is a great time. And I honestly wonder how much of that is translated through my interactions with people. Can people tell how much energy I bring? Can people tell my value like off rip? Do people want to like not necessarily take advantage of me? But there is an advantage to be taken 
around me. Now, I feel like people have their own reasons and ways to get what they want from me. And sometimes it, it leaves me feeling a little empty, especially when I don't get my part. You get all the benefit and joy and, I don't know, bragging rights to be next to me to be in my vicinity a lot of people try really hard to be within my vicinity which is not a problem i feel like we're genuine friends but a lot of people do not see me as friends they see me as an object they see me as competition they see me as anything but okay at the end of the day you're gonna hit that wall of like okay do i want to continue this or do i want to enter my villain era because there's definitely some corrections that i want to be made in order for people to like not disrespecting me like they've been disrespecting me and sometimes it's not even a them thing it's more like a i let people disrespect me i let people slide when i'm like I'm trying to be nice. I'm overcompensating by not really standing up for myself. And I feel like because I'm so secure within knowing who I am, I over worry and overstep my part in like trying to protect somebody else's feelings, trying to be right for somebody else, trying to make sure somebody else feels okay, somebody else feels good, somebody else is, you know. And I'll even like lower myself to like be at an attainable level. I'm not attainable. And that's not to say like so full of myself that I can't see past anything. It's more like I truly value myself at the extent to where I'm not even going to entertain people who are with ill intentions. Like I pick up on vibes a lot and a lot of the time I straight up ignore them because I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I like to get, I like to believe in people that, you know, people are just trying to figure themselves out. They're trying to be the best version of themselves. But people, not everyone's trying to do that. Not everyone's trying to be on that level. A lot of people, they just want to get away with how much they can get away with instead of actually doing the work to be the person that they want to end up being because what happens is when i level up and people see that it makes them uncomfortable if they're not also ready or able to level up the way i am and you gotta be secure enough within yourself to not see me as competition you gotta be secure enough to not see me as an op but the tactics they use to like really enable that is it's psychologically like messed up. I don't even know really how to interact with people anymore because I don't trust people anymore. I don't like talking to people. I don't like going out. I don't like hanging out. Like I'd rather hang out with me. I prefer me. And maybe that's not the case for everybody. Maybe people need other people to hang around constantly. I know they're they're energy vampires out there. Like I've experienced energy vampires. And when I tell you that shit is real, trying to just be there for people, trying to be people's friends, and they're not really trying to be your friends, man, let them go. And it's hard because they'll never just like outright give you the confirmation that yeah, they were only wanting to be around you for your energy or yeah, they were only wanting to like hang out with you to gain this specific accolade or whatever. Whatever the case may be, it's, it's different case by case, person by person, like you really got to take into account like who is around you, what are they about, what do they want from you. And I've been honestly too straightforward sometimes. I be asking people like, what do you want from me? Is there something specific you're looking for, love? Because you could just ask. We don't have to play the charade. And you know another thing? I don't think everybody is aware. Like, I don't think everybody is socially equipped enough to understand that they do that. And I feel like people assume a lot about me before I've even like really gotten the opportunity to show my whole personality. I'm a lot like as a person, I'm like, I'm not one dimensional. There's no aesthetic you can just stick to me. And that just like who I am. Like I'm a multi-dimensional person, like as I should be. I have a bunch of different interests. I have a bunch of different like attitudes within me. Like I don't even know how to explain it. I'm genuinely being myself 99% of the time, but there will be times where I'll pick up on the vibes. I'll understand that it's in genuine or whatever the case might be. I'll just pick up on the vibes that it's not really safe to be myself at that point. So I will adjust based on my surrounding, which saying that out loud makes me sound fake as f
but I'm really not. I'm being honest. Like, you know what I'm talking about when you, like, kind of feel the need to adjust your personality based on the people you're around. And it's not a bad thing. It comes with literally being able to adapt to your surroundings to be able to survive. The fact that I'm bilingual in English and African American vernacular. To really understand and comprehend both, you gotta know, like, how it works both ways. For what exactly? I don't know. I, it feels uncomfortable to be as big as myself. Like, I feel like like personality wise I take up too much space I take I take away too much attention especially at events that like aren't mine to be like my attention but like I'm a very attention grabbing person now I don't always seek this attention a lot of the attention is unwanted but that just comes with the territory and a lot of people won't really understand my perspective and things. And I don't expect people to like just get that I'm not everything that they think I am. People may think that I'm better than what I think I am. But really it's them projecting that on me. And I'm not, I'm not here for it. And my version of my villain era would really come out to really not be afraid to not be humble anymore. To not be so nice anymore. Like, like that Megan. The stallion song. And I got bad anxiety. People call me rude because I ain't letting them try me. Saying I'm a cause I'm in love with my body. Issues, but nobody I can talk to about it. They keep saying I should get help. But I don't even know what I need. They keep saying speak your truth. And at the same time say they don't believe. Man, y'all don't even know how I feel. I don't even know how I feel. Like people really find a way to make you the enemy when you're not playing the role that they want you to play. Being what they need you to be in order to make themselves feel good or better or whatever. And a lot of times I take on that responsibility to like make myself small so that people can feel big or better or whatever they need. I can't allow myself to do that. I have to really step into myself and just be myself. I did a video on this. It's called Be Yourself No Matter What. Hopefully you'll want to check it out after this or whatever but being myself is it's not that I don't like being myself or that I won't or can't be myself but to a certain extent it's disrespectful to yourself you're never gonna feel completely okay with continuously doing that or continuously letting people disrespect you continuously letting people like talk to you any certain type of way like I don't like that sometimes it's a hierarchy thing sometimes it's like the people I respect as my elders people in my family people like around Around me there's a certain like hierarchy that I try to respect because I see how the hierarchy works and I assume that the people in higher positions are like good meaning people and like don't have egos that need to be stroked 24 7 and you know really do mean the best for you and don't mean to like be in competition with you like and maybe it's the fact that like people have tried to play me have tried to test the waters with me to see if how much they can bullshit with me or not and I be letting it slide because I want to play nice I don't want to be angry all the time I don't want to yell at people I don't want to pull out these fisty cuffs okay I'm a Scorpio I get violent and honestly I be so shy about getting into my persona that is linked to my villain error I'm really trying to run around that and not do that because it really would be an overcompensation like I'm really a girly I like I like nails I like hair I like makeup you know you you aren't able to like see the full thing and a lot of that is you know financial I don't really got I don't really got the pockets like that but that has nothing to do with my personality if I could afford Balenciaga you best believe I will be wearing Balenciaga but that's just not where I am right now and that's okay like I understand my place I know exactly where I am in life like I do care of what people think of me but not to the extent that I'm willing to just jump through hoops for them especially if they're not willing to jump through hoops for me I'm a very like equal exchange type of person so if I pick up on the fact that like you're willing to do this for me but not willing to do this for me then I'm gonna be willing to do this for you and I'm gonna need you to stop expecting me to do this for you okay because people really do like have that way about them that they're come to the experience of like growing as an individual growing as a grown woman it's frustrating that it's like at my big age I'm almost 23 I'll be 23 November 11 Scorpio gang November Scorpios <laughs> But yeah, I'm really out here like actively leveling up, actively putting myself forward, pushing myself in the direction that I want to be, executing my really ambitious goals in life and not letting anybody, I'm talking nobody, get in my head or get in the way because I look like 
having your own perceptions, your own individual thoughts of what you think about me. And this doesn't go for everybody. Some people really do genuinely see me as a person and like as a person they, they can feel this pain. Even if you're like somewhat on this spectrum of pretty privilege, maybe a lot of what I'm talking about makes sense. A lot of what I'm talking about how people try to test you, both females and males, they will test the mess out of you. Females will just like to be in your vicinity to try to like, I don't even know how to explain that for real. It's like, it's like a type of attention they want and a type of attention you'll bring to them by being associated with them. The same thing goes for men. Men just want to be seen with you. They want people to know that they're with you. That's when you'll get mad. If you have something really critical to say about that, what I just said just then, just know it's because you're mad because I'm right, period. I was able to let go of the type of compassion that I have, because that's what it really is. It's compassion that I have for people to like not treat them the way they're treating me. To treat me on like a fictional pedestal that I never put myself on, but you're gonna treat and act and really just placate with me to an extent to where you think I think of myself that I'm better than people. I'm not. But people do feel a way. No matter if you have things, no matter if you don't have things, it's like it's like that type of like soul type thing. It's a soul type energy thing. You can't you can't take away what I have. Me elevating myself little by little, it's only gonna make you more jealous. It's only gonna make you feel more of a type of way. If you're already feeling a type of way about me now, I don't have half the stuff I want in life right now. I'm nowhere near where I want to be in, in life, but like I'm definitely working my way slowly, slowly but surely getting my way up there. And it's like, it's difficult. Like no one said this was easy. I sure will use my advantages to my advantage. You may think I have it easier it may look like I have it easier. You know, I used to work at Golden Chick and I kind of used to be the quiet one, the one, who, you know, the one who was just wanting to get in do their work get out get their check at the end of the two weeks and because I stayed quiet a lot of people like you know the co-workers they talk they assume I was this like privileged ass, like two-story brick home house having two parent income family ass, like that was not me <laughs> I know on the outside it could look like I have it all I do recognize that I'm blessed these are my blessings that I've actually had to work on and work on getting and working with the universe doing the work to like get me as far as I have because I know I want to be better I know I want more in life you know th this is me working with what I got what I got is what I got you gotta be on your own path stop worrying about what other people doing nobody else who has things going for them is worried about you like that I promise you they're not because if they are if they're obsessed with you to a degree that doesn't make sense just know they're your ops I don't know how else to say that they're your ops I wish I could be her but that's kind of weird to just be that direct I want to so badly be her friend just for the aesthetics just so I can look nice around her it's like bro I don't need that energy around me I, I cut people off and definitely I try not to get discouraged when it comes to like having friends you know most times it's like I, I take what I can get with the acquaintances I have some of my friends who are real down with me you know I don't get to see them that often I don't talk to them that often because why they're living their own lives shout out to my girl Shania I need people who are solid within themselves as individuals to be themselves I can't carry you to the top that's not how this works it's hard for me to get to the top there's no escalator bitch. you got a Fortnite build your way up there okay but I think that's it. I'm gonna end it right here. If you're on this self-love, self-healing, self-elevation journey with me, definitely leave a like, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and uh, thanks. I'll see you guys next time.